Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at good versus well. I know this isn't a typical lesson for me, but I am also an author and a certified English teacher, so I'm qualified to tell you when it's best to use the word good and when it's best to use the word well, and I will hopefully tell you a way that will help you to remember it and understand it a little bit better. Let's get to it. First off, let's talk about this question. This is often the time when good and well are most often mixed up with this question. How are you today or how are you doing? There's a couple of different options. We could say I'm good, I'm well, I'm doing well, or I'm doing good. Um, here are your options A, B, C, D. So this is a bit of a pretest. I want you to see what you think at this point. What would be the best option for answering this question? How are you today? I'm good. I'm well, I'm doing good, I'm doing well. A, B, C, D. Think about it for a second. You have to pick an answer. Even if you're wrong, you'll remember it better that way. So pick an answer. Choose. Reach deep within your heart. All right, great. Now we're going to talk about how you can know. And we will come back to that question at the end and everyone will get it right. Maybe you got it right the first time. We'll find out. How can you know? A couple of things. First off, we're going to talk about the word good, and then we're going to talk about the word well. The word good, it is the opposite of evil. Good and evil are opposites. So basically, if the sentence would make sense with the word evil, it would also make sense with the word good, but they'd have opposite meanings. I'm going to show you an example of this so that it makes a little bit more sense. Here, here's my example. How is Matthew doing? Would we say Matthew is doing good? Instead of using the word good, we can switch it for the word evil, and it has the opposite meaning. So, this Matthew is doing good is the opposite of saying Matthew is doing evil. So, if you say, how's Matthew doing? Matthew's doing good. That means he's out doing good. Like he's, I don't know, donating his time to work at a charitable organization, or he's helping someone shovel the snow off their porch, or he is, he's out doing good, right? That, that's what you're saying. When Matthew is doing good, it's the opposite of Matthew is doing evil, like he's out being a menace to society or whatever. You could also extend this to, how is Matthew doing? Matthew's, well, Matthew's good. Like, how's Matthew? Matthew's good. Would that work with Matthew's evil? What you would be saying is Matthew is a good person if you respond Matthew's good. If you say Matthew's evil, it's like Matthew is an evil person, right? So think about it in terms of the word good and evil. Because if you can substitute the word evil into the sentence, then um, you'll know exactly the opposite of what you're actually saying. That's a way to help differentiate it um, inside of my mind. That was a helpful tip that kind of helped me um, be able to know when it was appropriate to use the word good inside of sentences. What does well mean? Well means that you're in good health, sound in body and in mind. Or it can also mean satisfactory, like something's done in a satisfactory way, or um, I am living in a satisfactory way, something like that. I'm well, right? So these two definitions will play into what you decided to pick at the beginning. So let's revisit that question at the beginning and talk about which one would actually fit best. How are you today? I'm good. Remember what that means. I'm good. That means I'm a good person. Like, I am a decent human being. I'm good. We're, again, the opposite of I'm evil. So think about that. If someone asks you, how are you today? How are you today? I'm evil. It's not really an appropriate way to answer, right? How are you doing is not, not answered with I'm good. I'm well. This is using the definition that we said on the previous slide of I'm sound in mind and body, right? I'm, I'm doing pretty well today. I'm level. My body and my mind are working in a decent way. That's what it means I'm well. I'm doing good 
would mean that I'm out helping people, right? Or out, out giving service or, you know, something of that nature. So obviously I'm doing good. Um, doesn't answer the question, how are you today? It answers the question, what are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm out, you know, helping others. Um, so I'm doing good is not really appropriate. I'm doing well. And this is an, um, an interesting response that is also correct if you use the second definition of what the word well means. So I'm doing well means that I'm doing like I am functioning in a satisfactory way. I'm level, medium. I'm well means that I am sound in body and mind. Basically, it's, it's almost a, a step above I'm doing well. So you could use either B or D. I think the most correct way to give an answer of what people are actually answering would be B. I'm well, which doesn't sound normal the way that we talk. Conversational English is often different than um, what's grammatically correct. So I hope that was helpful for you in differentiating when to use good, when to use well, what good means, what well means, so that you can have some kind of an idea of the best word to use. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.